Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 79. Today we have Erg, Bike and Weights, Oleander Club. Let's get straight to the club and see what we get up to. And we've made it to the club on this great day. It's a little bit cooler, but probably a better temperature for training inside so I'm not overheating. Let's get changed and straight to the gym. And welcome back to another Erg Thoughts with Cam Bucking. Just as we're preparing the Ergs, we'll get my seat pad all sorted, making sure it's in the right position. Go for a little drink, go. Oh, no, no time of shoes. So as you can tell from the title, another Erg Thoughts about the checkers. So there's so many different things I could talk about in relation to technique. And here we go, let's, let's get to it, starting as I start rowing on the machine. So what part of the techers am I looking at today? So I talked about heel height. I've talked about other parts of the technique, but today, as I adjust my feet, we're, I've had a few comments about where the handle should come into in the chest when you're laying back at the finish. So that's the point, the furthest away from the monitor. So as you can see here, I pull reasonably high and sort of upper chest. So maybe it's probably middle upper chest. But you do see some people pull way higher. Up, well, not quite to the neck, but still definitely higher. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. So many people look at normal technique and see the handle being pulled to the chest, to the higher chest, as some sort of cheat or some sort of way of getting out of some sort of effort but really how I look at it and remember I'm not a coach I'm just sharing my opinion it's not really I wouldn't say it's a cheat it's just another form of ad adapting to a program so if you think you're rowing many many miles many 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 miles on the rowing machine you try to look for all of the small advantages that you can get and so some advantages in that would be just that extra bit of length that can be gathered by pulling the handle just a bit higher. Obviously there are disadvantages to such techniques. For example, as you can see, when I come to the finish, my wrists aren't quite flat. They're like bent down a bit. So that means my shoulders aren't quite pulling through properly. So there are negatives and positives to this type of technique. I'm not recommending it, just saying this is probably why some people do it. So you, when you're pulling high, you can probably lay back a bit further and end up with a longer stroke. And really how the split is calculated by the rowing machine is distance of the drive or and power. So if you've got both distance, if you lengthen the distance, you've got better split. So that's why I would say the reason for pulling up just a bit further, but higher is beneficial. But a negative to this as well, like I mentioned about the hands, there's another one. So with this technique, you can pull back and it usually encourages a longer or a further layback. And if this is introduced to say a beginner, it can be quite difficult because it puts a much greater stress on sort of the core and the back. So you want to probably avoid that as a beginner and maybe work your way in. I'm not an advocate of this technique. It's just something that has come about. But you yeah, just have to be careful when you're trying to do it. If your core isn't strong enough, your back isn't strong enough to support just that little extra few degrees going backwards, that extra weight pushing over the center line could be harmful in the long run, especially if the muscles in your sort of core and back, shoulders, glutes aren't quite strong enough to support this sustained sort of weight going back every single stroke or the extra sustained weight rather than if you're sitting up quite, not upright, but just maybe to like 11 o'clock or one o'clock, depending on which way you're looking at the, that clock, that puts less pressure 
in theory, on the back. In that situation, obviously there's pressure in the back and the core on other, in other ways. But that's my thoughts on why some people use that specific erg technique. Let me know in the comments below if that answers any of your questions relating to this pulling high. Let me know if you have any other suggestions on Eric Thought topics. Be great to find out what you'd be thinking of. Okay, I'll see you after I'm finished this Eric. And we've made it to breakfast. We've got some breakfast. Lovely Eric. Feeling easier and easier every day. Eating this, recovering, then going to work out again. See you after breakfast. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights your phone A delicious breakfast just finished. As you saw, some eggs, some bread, got a bit of bacon and some sausages and some beans. Now get changed onto the bicycle. Let's go. Still aware you know it is true. You were lost and this is a clue Love is forever Love is forever To believe you gotta let go Light as a feather Back in the crew room for lunchtime with some spaghetti bolognese A great workout on the bike The gains train is chugging along nicely Now to finish off, crew main with some veg, perhaps we'll have two. And then got weights this afternoon with big phrase. See you in a minute. I thought one dish of spaghetti bolognese wasn't enough, so I've got another one. Cause gains are big. See you after. Had an awesome lunch, two crew mains, two portions of spaghetti bolognese. Got a fuel, cause remember food is fuel. Now for weights time, Fraser and I are in the gym over there somewhere doing mad leg weights. Let's get to lifting. And we are outside Leander after that awesome weight session. Got my usual conditioning as you saw at the start there. Fraser Christie doing some awesome squats. We got Miles involved as well. Thanks Miles for helping out with the filming too. Some of the shots there filmed by him. Been a really good day. The weather was perking up as well. It was a bit cold this morning, but the rowing machine workout, the bike workout were both excellent. Heart rate staying in the good zones around 150, actually getting lower for the effort, the perceived effort. So it's really good. And spoke to the coaches about what I'm doing in the next few weeks. Looks like I'm just going to keep progressing. The guys at Leander are going to Spain for a training camp. I'm going to stay here. With, there's a coach staying and Fraser Christie staying here as well. So we're going to see about rowing in the single together. 
so I need to relearn how to skull, so that could be fun. Another thing to look forward to on the vlog. Let me know if you enjoyed today's video. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Have a good one.